Today I'm visiting Wallaby Ranch, the first and largest aerotow hang gliding flight park in the world. I'm here to meet Malcolm Jones, two-time world champion hang glider pilot and the founder of the Wallaby Ranch Flight Park. Malcolm! Steve! How you doing? Welcome to the Wallaby Ranch. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it for being here. Yeah, thanks for coming out. You know, I can't believe people can go hang gliding just outside the Orlando area. Yeah, that comes as a surprise to almost everybody, but uh, it's really one of the most pleasant places to fly. We have a lot of thermal activity and really smooth air in the mornings to give people an introduction. Well, I'm from Florida, and uh, one thing I know about Florida is this state is completely flat, and I think most people are associating hang gliding with jumping off of a cliff or a mountain somewhere to get these things up in the air. Yeah, true enough, and that's the image it has, but hang gliding's changed a lot, and since the evolution of ultralights, has gotten to the point where aero towing is practical and you can tow up behind a small airplane in a glider built for two and learn how to fly with an instructor just like learning how to fly an airplane. It's really easy, I'll show you. Ah, let's go take a look. You got it. Hey, Carlos. Hey, how's it going, Michael? Really good. This is Steve. He's interested to see how we uh, get in the air here. Hi, hi, Steve. How's it going? Nice to meet you. How you doing? Pretty good. Yeah, we, this is the ultralight. It's designed to tow hang gliders, and uh, we usually tow the hang gliders about uh, 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet? Yeah, but don't worry about it. Malcolm has over 25,000 in tandem, so you're in good hands. Oh, okay, so we're flying tandem today. Yep, you're getting the glider built for two, and we take off on wheels. It's very smooth and easy. Check out the front end of this tub here. Yeah, let's see what we're working with here. All right, uh, here's the controls. You know, get a very wind speed indicator, instrument for the engine. Okay, what is this tube thing up here for? Oh, that's uh, the parachute. Just in case we parachute. need it, we got it. Yes. Okay, so it seems like you guys are focusing on safety. Absolutely, that's what we're famous for. In fact, the tandem gliders all have a ballistic parachute on it as well. Now, um, tandem gliders, are they different from a single hang glider? Yeah, they are significantly different. It's, they're bigger and a little more sluggish to control, which is why we fly only in the ideal air. Come on over, I'll give you a close-up of the tandem gliders in the hangar, and uh, Carlos, if you can set up in the field, we'll meet you out there. Sure, great, let's, let's go, go check it out. All right, Steve, this is the tandem glider. Okay. What do we got here? I see we got two harnesses on the bottom. Yeah, you can see there's several differences. We have a set independent keel with a ballistic chute attached, the tail wheel, two castering wheels in the front. Okay. And that's basically a Wallaby Ranch innovation. It's what's revolutionized hang gliding. It's what makes instruction easy. It's what makes us available to take someone out with no experience and get them some serious air time the first time they go up. So the tandem instruction was actually something that you guys started doing here. Yes, the Wallaby Ranch is the original Aerotow Flight Park. We teach more people how to fly hang gliders than anywhere in the world. Really? Yep. You ready to fly? You bet. Let's go. Job is to keep this, the wheels of the tug right on the horizon. As you can see, if we let our weight out, the glider goes up relative to the tug. If we pull our weight in, the glider goes down relative to the tug. When he turns, we move our weight in the same direction he's turning. If he's turning right, we move our weight to the right. And we just sort of stay tangent to the same arc. Pretty 
Sweet, huh? Oh, this is incredible. I can't believe how far you can see up here. It's, it's beautiful. On a clear day, we can see buildings that are on the Gulf Coast, and we can see buildings that are on the Atlantic Coast, especially really? the vehicle assembly building. It is amazing when you start getting out to it. That's the first impression people get. You don't have to get very high to be able to see really far. Yeah, you'd be surprised. The first hang gliders that flew in the United States was right down the street here at Cypress Gardens. Really? Yep. Just how big is this place? Well, we've got 500 acres. That's been, wow. That's been over the process of about three land purchases. We've bought the, the land on all sides of us. We started out with about 80 acres, and we've got 500 now. I see you guys got a pool down there. Yeah, we've got a swimming pool, and uh, the idea is to keep the rest of the family happy while dad flies hang gliders, <laughs> or mom in some cases. But uh, we've got a lot of mountain bike trails and uh, climbing wall, ATVs. You hear the breakfast bell? Oh, there it is. <laughs> when we get on the ground, time to eat. Fantastic. We get out of bed to fly. We skip everything. We skip coffee. We skip everything to get the smooth, good air for instruction. Okay. okay, to turn right, pull back with your right hand. Push out with your left. More. See how that swings your hips to the right? Oh, okay. Glider turns right. I'm not touching it. That's, That's all right. You want to turn back to the left? Pull back with your left hand. See how it makes it turn left? Gotcha. You want to go faster? Pull the bar straight back, moving your weight forward. Feel the feet then go. Oh, yeah. Go slow down. Ease your weight back. Okay, turn back to the right now. Pull back with your right hand. Back with your left hand. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Oh, this is this is incredible. The whole idea is once you become an accomplished pilot, you tow up in the middle part of the day uh -huh. where the sun has had time to heat up the ground, and there's big areas of air that are heated and rising. And that's called a thermal. I see. You just do turns and maneuvers that keep yourself within that area where the air is climbing, and you can stay up all day. about how long does it take for someone to learn how to do this by themselves? Oh, the average person takes about 20 toes to get solo. Level out, the elbow's bent, your arm's real loose. All right. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, I had a wonderful time. You did a good job flying the glider. It was a lot of fun. I heard that bell ringing. Let's go get some food. I came out to the Wallaby Ranch this weekend not knowing what to expect. After meeting Malcolm Jones and realizing how easy it is to pilot a hang glider, it is an experience I will never forget. I suggest you get out on the weekends and try something new as well. Steve, you want to go again? You bet. Thank you. All right. We're out of here. Once again, Malcolm, thank you so much for having me out here today. I had a wonderful time experiencing your ranch. Well, don't be a stranger. Anytime you feel like taking flight, come right on by.